So here's an example of non-sequential ray tracing. You can see here that I have a beam splitter, I have a ray firing in, uh, and I get a back reflected ray at this interface. I then go through, it's maybe easier to see on this window. Uh, I then have the ray coming through here, hitting a 50-50 beam splitter. So it's split into forward and uh, reflected uh, light. And we get back reflections again coming through uh, uh, the beam splitter. So one ray in gives us many rays out. And this is one of the things that we use non-sequential ray tracing for, is because rays find their own way through the system. There's not a table that tells the ray where it's going to go to next. The ray is simply launched and based on what it encounters, it splits, it scatters, it reflects, it refracts, whatever. In this particular case, here in the editor, you'll see we're defined a source ellipse, which has just got one ray. And then we have two of these polygon objects, like so. And here's one of these polygon objects, and this is just a prism. And we have two of them sandwiched together. We have a coating, a 50-50 coating in between. And then we have four detector objects around here that show us uh, where all the light is going to.